كويسين ناولين لهم وهرب من الدنيا الفضاء وكفاية عمري كفاية عمري اللي انقضى محمد كودفاني the director and myself we were able to shotlist and design the film up front he had very specific visuals that he wanted to do at certain places, paper in. He knew he wanted um, lots of silhouettes, high contrast images shooting against the windows and letting the characters be cut outs in front of that. We love the theatricalness of uh, blocking. So we tried to kind of uh, bring that into the design. That's where the actors helped us a lot on the day. We had ideas of how they would come into close-ups and what they would do, but there's a uh, there's an organic kind of feeling that they bring across, which you can never really plan for you. I think there's something quite powerful about, uh, yes, controlling to a degree, but also to allowing for these unforeseen moments to happen. And that informs your creatives, that informs the way that your gut reacts in the heat of the moments. <laughs> I knew I needed a camera system that was quite robust and reliable and could handle the harsh temperatures both high and low. It was quite an easy choice to go with the Alexa systems or the Ari systems and though we were lucky enough to push it towards the large formats and we ended up choosing the Ari Rental Prime DNA lenses for LFs. I think it was a perfect kind of balance for this uh, story, which is basically about these two women trying to make sense of the situation that they find themselves in um, and life through things at them that they weren't entirely in control of and they were forced to make decisions and in a sense go with it. And that uh, it was more about the depth of field and the composition that me and the directors spoke about how do we progress and how do we allow the characters to feel lower moments and how to feel higher, lighter moments. How do we push them out of the background and how do we also shoot with the deeper stop and letting them become part of the environment. The 40 ball was definitely a, a, a beautiful combination of still being able to feel the environment on either side of the character if you go into a close-up. The fantastic fall-off, the very present and unmistakable flares. Um, it's a very individualistic kind of like a uh, lens and it, and it gave us that opportunity to speak in that manner. We were very curious to use a system called the City Fade, and uh, what this system allows you to do is to basically change your exposure without changing your aperture. So your depth of field and your bouquet stays the same, and you are able to go from interior, and then when you step outside, it closes the, the light so that you can maintain your same depth of field. Uh, it just goes back to what real life is like. If we walk from interior to exterior with our eyes, this happens automatically. And this is very much one of the main things that I would love to bring across with my work is that I have become invisible, that we become invisible as filmmakers. Ari Sky Panels is a, is a beautiful tool. It's just so diverse. It's got quite a punch to it, so you can kind of utilize it even in daytime exteriors, but it also allows you to do little cop scenes. We had two or three nighttime cop works. We were utilizing the, the different systems. Also with fireworks, it, it kind of like gives you a fair amount of diversity. You can solve your challenges and your problems very quickly with having a piece of kit like that. The topic and the country and its history is very harsh. But the people were very optimistic, very excited to be on set and um, felt very lucky and grateful to be uh, a part of something like this. So we tried to find the balance between 
how you share your skills and how you also at the same time depend on the locals because you cannot do it without them. Um, it's as much their form as what it is ours. Uh, and it was uh, a real privilege to be able to kind of uh, integrate into their culture and experience their world on a day-to-day -day basis and, and allowing for their input to form the image and to kind of like take it from one shot to the next. And they, they made me feel very safe and very welcome. Uh, and uh, I, I will always hold it very dear to my heart, their experience in Sudan.